Okay, FAQ number 92. Uh, the question comes up, saved versus lost in marriage. Uh, did an earlier FAQ on saved teens versus lost parents, how to get along there and everything. But now we're going to talk about what happens in marriage. Okay, now this is something that is a fairly common occurrence. You have two people get married, two lost people, and years down the road or whatever, um, one of them gets saved. And I've heard of this with both ways. I've heard a man getting saved and the wife is still lost. I've heard the wife getting saved and the man is still lost. That's usually the more common of the two. But uh, what do you do in that situation? Turn in your Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 7. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 10. We'll start there and read down through a little bit. Because it just spells it right out. It says, And unto the married I command, yet not I, but the Lord, let not the wife depart from her husband. But and if she depart, let her remain unmarried, or be reconciled to her husband, and let not the husband put away his wife. But to the rest speak I, not the Lord. If any brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. And the woman which hath an, un with, which hath an husband that believeth not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were your children unclean, but now are they holy. Okay, now let me just stop there. We'll continue reading here in a minute. Um, if the couple can get along, and there's no real problem there, and there's the home is allowed to have hymns and Bibles sitting around and things like that, well, the husband or the wife might not be saved, but they're there's love in the relationship there and you get along and everything else, then you're not to depart. But, verse 15, But if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases, but God hath called us to peace. For what knowest thou, O wife, whether thou shalt save thy husband? Or how knowest thou, O man, whether thou shalt save thy wife? But as God hath distributed to every man, as the Lord hath called every one, so let him walk, and so ordain I in all churches. Okay, so the principle there is, if you can get along with your lost husband, lost wife, depending on what you are, if you can get along, okay. But if you get into a bad situation where you get saved, and say you're a woman, and you get saved, and your husband hates God, and has wants nothing to do with the Lord and he makes that plain and clear and he starts to really make your life miserable and he's doing things that are causing you to stumble in your relationship with the Lord where he's watching pornographic movies or you know anything from Hollywood that's you know R-rated movies and stuff and he's filling your home with profanity and and you're just like hey you know please could you stop this and he makes fun of you and he puts you down um, and it's just it's becoming a really big problem and he's you know, you're thinking, oh, he's probably cheating on me and, and whatever else. I mean, and it's a bad situation. Um, you're not under bondage in that case. And if it gets to a point where you cannot dwell with them in, in a peaceful type of a situation, and it's no longer a home that has peace, it's actually become a war zone, uh, I'd get away from that situation. You are not under bondage in, in that case. Okay, you're not tied to them as long as they live. Okay, if you're saved, then yeah, there's supposed to be a, a um, coverture within that marriage. I think that that's the, the right way to do it, um, where the husband is a spiritual covering and the two of you are working together to keep the marriage strong. Uh, you're not a foolish woman plucking down your house with your own hands. You're building up your house. You're building up your husband. The husband is protecting and guarding against spiritual attacks. Two Christians that are married are supposed to fight together as far as uh, fighting the forces of evil. Now, of course, you will fight together sometimes, but you have to keep that sanctity of that marriage in mind. But what do you do when you have somebody that's lost? Uh, they're actually bringing in the evil in that case. And if that's the case and it's just like it's just getting worse and worse and worse, uh, I would get out of that situation, to be very honest with you. And um, you say, well, then I am going to have to be forced to be single. No. Because, jump down to verse 27, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, it says, Art thou bound unto a wife? Seek not to be loosed. Art thou loosed from a wife? Seek not a wife. 
But, and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. And if a virgin marry, she hath not sinned. Nevertheless, such, how, such shall have trouble in the flesh, but I spare you. Okay, uh, biblical marriage is basically flesh joining flesh. And of course, there's a lot more to it there. There's, there's the thing of a spiritual covering, and I understand all that. Okay, and I have a whole sermon on marriage and remarriage. You can watch that to get all the scriptures here. But uh, if it gets to a point where you're married to somebody who's lost, and there's just no desire to live for the Lord and whatever else, I'd get out of that situation. And uh, if the Lord you know, eventually brings somebody who's saved into your life, and you really pray about it, because don't go into another marriage and make a, the same mistake over again, um, make sure that you really, really, really pray and seek the Lord's will uh, before you attempt any kind of a remarriage type of a situation. Make sure that that person is saved. Okay? And because uh, if you don't, you're just making the same mistake over again and your life is just going to be miserable. But, um, so that would be how I would answer that question. Um, if there's any way that you can work it out and just really, really try to witness hard to your lost spouse, uh, do that. I mean, try everything that you can, especially if there are children involved. Um, try everything that you can to work that marriage out. Um, pray and fast. And, you know, if, if you're a woman or... Even if you're a man and you're married to somebody who's lost, um, I would just simply pray and say, God, I want them to be saved and I don't care what, what it costs. Uh, if we lose everything, I want to see them saved. Show the Lord that you're serious about that you know, situation of that you want to be married to somebody that's saved. So that's how I'd answer that question.